Fest brings thousands of people to downtown Tulsa to check out artists from across the U.S. The week-long event features fine art from sculptures to prints, but as Tunis reporter Jamil Donath explains, the adults aren't the only ones enjoying this art. That's cool. It's all rainbowy and bright. Along with their parents, Sinclair Leverens and Megan Salisbury check out the art at Mayfest. I like that cupcake. That cupcake's cute. Only this art is just for kids. I got a painting. It looks kind of like gumballs. Gumballs are balloons. Two years running, Art Beginnings was created to give children a way to experience art at Mayfest. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Like Sinclair and Megan, who bought their first pieces of art today. It'll match my new room in our new house because we're building a house. And it's just abstracty. <laughs> all of the art is donated either by students or Mayfest artists. And all of it sells for just $5. It would normally sell for five, six, hundred dollars to a thousand dollars, and they just donate it. How's it going, guys? Richard Lawrence is one of those artists. He and his wife have been coming to Mayfest for more than six years now. We've got a successful business, so you know, so we're blessed. We always try to give back. The Arkansas artist's colorful bird prints range from ten dollars to three thousand, but he says Mayfest isn't just about selling art. It's all about trying to um, uh, grow that appreciation at a young age for the arts, and this is a great venue for that. A place where art can be enjoyed at any age. Jamil Donath, Two News Works for You. Jamil, thanks. Now, Art Beginnings goes until 7 tonight. It continues Sunday from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. in the Kids Zone. And of course, you can get all the information on Mayfest 